Hello guys, my name is Rocco Kusimon and this is the Ecclesia Project. On this project, we have a lot of things that we are going to talk about, we are going to discuss. And today being our first episode, I have with me two amazing people and two interesting people that we are going to have a, a conversation with. Mm. We are going to talk about one of the biggest ever gospel crusade that is about to hit the land of Ghana. This one, there is no two ways about that. I can tell you for a fact, it is the biggest that is ever going to happen. I'm talking about the Greater Accra Unleashed for Christ Crusade, which is being organized by the Church of Pentecost together with the Evangelism Ministry and the Greater Accra Regional Coordinating Committee. I have with me a team from the Evangelism Ministry. We call them the Gospel Heralds. And I am excited to host them. To my immediate right, I have with me our sister, Yvonne Eunice, and then our brother. You help me with your name, you with you. Ernest Obing. Ernest Obing is also yeah, here. Sure. And today we are going to have an amazing conversation. Mm -hmm. To start with, I'll start with you, Ernest. Okay. Yeah, cast a gospel heralds, and what is it about? Oh, okay. The gospel heralds, we, we call us the Pentecost gospel heralds. Okay. Yeah, we are a team of young and vibrant youth in the church. We've come together, and our ambition is the proclamation of the good news. Okay. Yeah, so we are part of the evangelism ministry, whereby we go a week ahead of any crusade to prepare the grounds for the main crusade. Okay. We, we are dispatched into the various districts. If you talk about preparing the grounds, what do you mean? I mean, we go to uh, ring souls. Okay. We we are we go to the grounds to make sure that we get many souls before the the main crusade starts. Uh -huh. So we are dispatched into the various districts and towns and cities uh, in the place where the crusade will be held. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'll come to Eunice. How how did people or how were you? Called on board. Kwame is in the fire. I become gospel hero team now. Okay, so the deputy leader James Osei Menyampon Dikin is my friend. He told me about it in 2017. Mm. I was in school, and then I decided to join in 2018. Okay, yes, that was how I came to join. And so I it means that you've been with the team for about six years about now. Six years. When you talk about this crusade. Yeah. the Greater Accra Unleashed Crusade. Mm -hmm. What are you doing as Gospel Heralds as it stands now? Okay. So just as I said earlier on, our ambition is the proclamation of the gospel. And this is a team of a very young, uh, young and vibrant youth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when it comes to crusade like this, uh, we have two weeks. The first week is for us. We go to the various districts and locals okay. where we embark on various evangelism activities like house to house evangelism, don't broadcasting, we go for personal evangelism, we do sports evangelism, we do cinema evangelism. And at the end of the week, uh, these are the activities we do and we make sure that we baptize the people we get and we hand them over to the district or the local assembly we went to. Why is the activity of the Gospel Herald so important? It is very important. If you should look at the records, Mm -hmm. Most of the souls we win come from the activities of the gospel. Oh, heroes. I see. And because we are uh, young and vibrant, everywhere you take us, we go. Okay. Everywhere uh -huh. you mean everywhere. 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 Okay. Since uh, the establishment of this team, that was in 2015, we, we, we've seen that there has been a progress in the number of souls we get. Like if you look at the records, most of the souls the church has been recording come from the activities of the uh, gospel heroes. We are doing house to house evangelism, beach evangelism, street evangelism, dawn broadcast. Then the souls we get, mm -hmm. as much as we can baptize, we let our pastor, the district pastor, or whoever he delegates to do the baptism to baptize mm -hmm. the person. And if possible, we also do Holy Ghost baptism for them. Okay. So yes, please. So we do this up to Saturday, and Saturdays are for sports evangelism, yes. And on the field, too, we also win souls there by the grace of God through other means. And then we get baptized there. Then the district pastors who are around also baptize them up to Sunday. Then the souls, as my brother said, the souls we get for the week, 
we hand it over to our leaders. Sometimes you may see that at the end of the day, they write number of souls won this day, mm. number of souls won this day, up to the one week. Yes, so that's what we are doing <coughs> this week. As he said, we go on the grounds, we go and work the wind souls, then the crusade week itself comes, then okay. continue from there. So, so, so if I get you, it means that as we speak now, yeah, the team is on ground. Yes, yes. yes. They are they are in the Teshinungwa and then the La area. La area. Yes, yes, yes. What are the responsibilities of these areas that are hosting you? Okay, so for the areas, they accept us into the various districts. Okay, and the the only thing they do is to help and support us, uh, get people for us, leading us into the various towns and corners of the town. Because, because I believe that you are not all from this area. Yeah, exactly. So definitely, exactly. you don't even know your way around. Yes, yes, yes. So sure, you sure, need sure. The, the, the members. Sure. So if we say members, which, which, which age bracket are we targeting to get involved in this uh, activity of yours? We don't actually look at the age. Okay. We don't have a, an age range. But all those who will be available to mm. help us guide. Okay. Uh, whether the person is old. So far as the person know, knows the terrain, the corners of the town or city, we are good to go. Mm. Yeah. So what are some of the strategies you are using for this crusade? Okay. For example, like this, uh, some of them are still on the grounds. Okay. We are using the personal evangelism, which is one-on-one. -on -one. The one-on-one. -on -one. It is most effective in... Me and you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is a one-on-one. -on -one. In Accra, in the city like Accra like this, mm -hmm. doing a mass evangelism is quite difficult. You can do it, but its effectiveness mm. is very low, getting the souls. So we approach the person one-on-one, -on -one. you preach to the person. And then you see that when you, when you meet them like this, mm. they share their personal experiences, mm. what they know. Because most of them go to church, all right. Yes, so they've not given their life to Jesus. Oh, okay. uh -huh, that is what we've, we've noticed. So the one-on-one -on -one is really effective. And the cinema too is also okay. so very effective. So you mean that as a now, you are doing the one-on-one, -on -one and then the cinema evangelism together. Exactly. All right. Street evangelism as well. All right. Mm. All, right. All right. I believe that the one-on-one -on -one is effective because even the youth ministry, as part of their uh, reach, out. reach out strategy, mm. have produced the manual that will guide the young people on how to go about one-on-one -on -one evangelism. You realize that a lot of people are not actually involved in evangelism because sure. some of them say that, Na me kwa, what am I going to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, there are some people... <laughs> They are ujashios, but Charlie, when it comes to when it comes to one on one, it's mm, on a yeah, different level. Sure. So, how are you guys able to overcome some of these things? Okay, the thing is, we've been trained. Okay, uh -huh. we've received training as gospel heroes. Mm. So, before any outreach, we have meetings and training sections, okay. prayer sections as okay. well. And uh, so far as I can approach anybody mm. without being shy, mm. you can you can deliver the message. Okay. Uh -huh. We have the messages already. So okay. when you meet the person, you just have a way of approaching the mm. person, creating a gap of friendship, and then you are good to go. Ham has this slogan that they say, by fire, by water. Is that what you're also using? That by any means, <laughs> the message has to go. Exactly, exactly. Wow. I, I think so. We, we, that is our ambition. Mm. We need to make sure that so far as we are unleashed to go, we make sure that anybody we meet, we minister the message or we preach the message, the gospel to them. Mm. Yeah. I see. Mm. I see. It's, it's interesting. This is the Ecclesia project mm. and we are talking about the mega fantabulous gospel crusade that is I would say the biggest yeah, that is sure. yet to hit the land of Ghana, the greater mm. Accra Unleashed for Christ crusade. Yvonne, let me come to you. So even as you are going out, what are some of the challenges that you meet when you go out? Okay. Sometimes the support from the district. Mm. Yes. In as much as the people have been delegated to go out with us because we do not know the towns in the cities it's not all the time you get them mm. yes and if you say you are waiting for them before you step out to go and preach the gospel i dare be sound mm. yes so sometimes we just take the step move out whoever we we, we meet mm -hmm. we give the gospel to even the without knowing anybody you go on your own yes I see. because that's our main aim or reason for going there the challenge around it is if we do not get the people of the district or the locality follow-up becomes difficult, mm. yes, because 
if they go with us, they will know the locations of the people, especially if the souls won are within the locality. Oh, okay. Yes. So it will make follow up easy. But here is a case, we do not really get the involvement of some of them. So it becomes difficult. Yes. And then sometimes to some of the souls, when you speak to them, oh, yes, you can imagine it. Imagine it. I say, 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 Sometimes you just have to be led. If you are led to still speak to the person, fine. If you realize it to turn into something like an argument, you just find your way. You leave the peace of God with the person, find your way, and you are being sent to go and win a so not to win an argument, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> All right, so um, Eric, uh, Ernest, Ernest, <laughs> Ned, you're about to be oh, don't worry, <laughs> Ernest. Now, um, my, I want to ask you this. Okay. How do you take it when you meet somebody and the person does not give you audience? Oh, sometimes it's a, it's a challenge. Uh, we pity them a lot mm -hmm. because uh, everyone needs Jesus. Uh, and as the scripture says, it is the will of God for everyone to come into the saving grace of God. So sometimes we wish people could give us sometimes a minute, just a minute. Uh, to listen to to us mm -hmm. but there are most places we go people are not ready to listen to us but we pray for them mm -hmm. our first encounter you greet the person you ask of the name you you get to know each mm -hmm. other if they are not ready to listen we pray for them there are people you call them and they don't even listen to you at all they wouldn't even give you audience at all yes they won't uh -huh. even attend to you what are your last words especially about this crusade let me start from Yvonne. Thank okay. you. Okay. I will tell everyone that let us all get ourselves involved. Yes, this is a great commission the Lord Jesus Christ left for the church. So let each and every one of us get ourselves involved for the expansion of the kingdom of God. Thank you. Get yourself involved mm -hmm. for the expansion of the work of God. That is from our sister, Eunice Yvonne, the only lady I've met, the first one to have two English names. I think I have to look for one English name. <laughs> what do you suggest? <laughs> okay, let me come to you. <laughs> what are your last words? Okay, I will say that uh, this is a great commission. It's a work given to each and every one of us who comes from the church, who has come to believe in the name of Jesus. So as my sister said, we should all get involved. We want to uh, save the whole of Accra. We want to go everywhere, get everybody for Jesus. And so this crusade is, is a one of a kind. Mm. And we uh, encourage everyone to get him or herself involved. This is one of a kind. And we mm. encourage everybody to get involved. Though we are doing the crusade in greater Accra, it doesn't matter where you are. Sure. Evangelism should be your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So one and one evangelism, wherever you meet the person, as Ham will say, by fire, by water. Give the message to the person. Mm -hmm. It is the work of the Lord who will convert the soul and bring them unto himself. My name has always been Brock Eku Simon, and this is the Ecclesia Project. We will meet you on another episode. Stay blessed. Uh -huh.